New spark plugs and wires are an essential part of any tune-up. It's a good idea to inspect your plugs and wires every 30,000 miles. If the wires appear cracked or frayed, replace them. Begin by removing the upper airbox cover. This is held in place by a series of clips on the outside of the cover. Once the upper cover is removed, release the two clips holding the cover to the MAF sensor tube. Please refer to our article on replacing your air filter for more information by following the link at the end of this video. Next, remove the hose clamp holding the MAF sensor to the plenum, green arrow, and squeeze the two clips, purple arrows, holding the electrical connector to the MAF sensor. Simply pull the connector off, then pull the sensor tube out of the plenum. Now remove the three 10mm bolts holding the upper intake hose to the valve cover green arrow. You'll also need to loosen the hose clamp holding the upper intake plenum to the throttle body. The clamp itself is located in a tight space. A set of universal joint sockets as shown here makes this job much easier. Once the hose clamp is loose, pull the whole intake plenum assembly up and off the valve cover. Now remove the 5mm hex bolt securing the valve cover insert piece to the valve cover, as indicated by the green arrows. Also take note of the firing order of the car embossed into the insert piece, red arrow. Once the insert piece is removed, you'll see the ignition coils and wires underneath. The E320 uses what is called a waste spark ignition setup. This means that each ignition coil ignites two cylinders 180 degrees out from each other and uses one coil to power two cylinders. What this means is that you'll see three coil packs with two branched wires coming off each of them going to each spark plug. In this picture, you see the branched ignition connector coming from the coil. Pull it up to release it from the spark plug. In this picture, we see the coil itself on top of one of the spark plugs. Simply pull it up to lift it up and off the plug. You'll need a long extension on the end of your ratchet in order to remove the old plugs. Slide the extension all the way down until you feel the socket firmly grip the spark plug. The spark plug should be tight in the cylinder head, but not overly difficult to remove. Take the new spark plug and push it into the specialized spark plug socket. There is a small rubber retainer ring inside that firmly grips the plug and prevents you from dropping it into the cylinder head. Carefully thread the new spark plug into the cylinder head by hand. Once seated in the head, use a torque wrench to torque the plugs to 20 foot-pounds or 27 newton meters. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.